So why don't we jump into some third-party news? We don't really talk about much third-party stuff here on the podcast, but when we do, it's something that really catches my eye and I really feel is worthy of talking about and bringing to attention to us Transformer collectors. And let's talk about, and I've talked about these people in the past, that of Transart and their Transart Toys Beast Wars series of third-party figures. We already kind of have a pretty good indication of what is happening with Kingdom, and it's going to primarily be season one kind of stuff also looking on the other side of the fence when we look at what takara and hasbro are doing with masterpiece in terms of beast wars we do see a slow progression towards finishing those season one characters i might be wrong we might jump into season two trans metals but it really looks like they're focusing on season one and getting those guys done first before they go into season two so i feel that trans arts in a lot of ways are kind of tackling that area in the meantime where something that in the case of like Skateboard Gorilla that I'll talk about very quickly, uh, you know, Transmetal Optimus Primal, we might not see that from the official capacity for maybe two, three years. So if you want it now, it's there now. And Transart in the past, they've done essentially two other releases so far of their Beast Wars line. They did Strange Friend, which was, in my opinion, it's 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 a good alternative to getting Transmutate, but I feel they could have done better. I still feel that um, there was more that could be done that uh, in terms of paint applications and accuracy to how it looked on the show compared to this product. I like what's going on there, but I still feel it could have been done better and something that I kind of hope in the future TransArt will revisit and tackle again. And then they did their, uh, their number two, their BWM number two, which was their Skateboard Gorilla, their Optimus Primal, uh, Transmetal Optimus Primal specifically. Uh, Scale-wise, he's kind of, for to give people an indication, he's kind of face-to-face in a lot of ways. Maybe slightly shorter than um, Beast Wars Masterpiece Dinobot, the official one. So it, I, I, I want to believe that it kind of works with scale because when you put him next to Masterpiece Optimus Primal, the official one, he kind of towers over him, much like Dinobot does. So I want to believe that when he became Transmetal, he kind of also got quite a height boost. But that being said, now we're talking about the latest release, Transar Toys BWM-03, Metal Leopard, and Metal, excuse me, Metal Leopard Commander. And what's very cool about this is what they've done in the same way with Transmetal Optimus Primal, they pretty much took the base original toy and didn't, you know, they didn't change perfection because the one thing about a lot of those old Transmetal toys from Beast Wars all those many years ago, more than 20 years ago, even with Hasbro's price points back then, um, they were pretty much show accurate to quite a, an amazing degree. Little things here and there obviously need to be changed or updated uh, to make it perfect, but otherwise they were pretty show accurate, especially when you look at ones like Tarantulas and a few others. Uh, Cheetor was one of those ones that unfortunately, while design-wise and, and silhouette-wise, pretty show accurate, he did have little design flaws and paint application flaws. So like when you look at the old Cheetor Deluxe toy, it's like, oh, that face, you know, he had this humongous, like, you know, grinning face that just doesn't look like anything Cheetor has ever had in the show. He didn't have his little or uh, yellow goatee paint application and his entire chest of uh, the robot mode was not painted completely like it was in the show. But otherwise, everything else in terms of the fine details more or less matched how it was in the show. Um, and, it, and it worked. You know, you couldn't do you couldn't do a nice aesthetically looking hands together, you know, cheetah blast gimmick, which he would take like his two cheetah heads and put it on his hands and do like a blast technique. But, you know, it could be done, but it was kind of ugly on how it was done on the original toy. So they really address all of those issues and tackle it here. So we see very nicely uh, what they've done pretty much thus far and what they plan to do more or less for the future with this line. But you get a look at everything they have. So first they show us the robot mode of this third party. So so far all we have is CG mockups, which more or less hopefully will look like the final product. Uh, we have a robot head that has open and closed mouth articulation and the robot face obviously matches the character model with the little goatee very key there uh the cheetah head mode same thing opening and closed mouth articulation which is really nice and uh left and right and up and down neck articulation for the cheetah head again something that was absent with the original toy um 
and it also has that art, you know proper shoulder articulation that you could do the two hands together to make the cheetah head blast gimmick. So, so far, everything, it looks like if you took the original deluxe toy, kept all the articulation more or less that's the same, more or less the same parts number and everything, but did little touches here and there to make it look more show accurate. So already you kind of see that. Then they added something brand new that was surprising. They added a little spring-loaded button push transmetal gimmick to make the transmetal mode the flip out of the flight mode, which is a nice touch. The original toy, obviously you had to kind of fold out the pieces, fold out the little boosters and everything like that. It was all manually done. They figured out a way to make it kind of an auto flip kind of gimmick. Hopefully this doesn't hinder anything with the toy. Judging by the original deluxe toy and how it was originally encased, I don't think it will. But it's a nice little extra gimmick, again, part of the price pointing, you know, when you have third party, there's no limitations of what you could do. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then on top of that also they show, and it's not completely explained, I tried to translate it, uh, they have a compressed kind of ab here, so the character has a little bit of an ab crunch and everything, and it also hides uh, the transmetal gimmick when in robot mode more successfully, so that's kind of cool. And lastly, his weapon. His original weapon, which was like some kind of whip mace kind of thing going on, was already kind of curled and, and stuck in that one molded piece of plastic for the original toy. This one here, they make it a completely 100% articulated tail. So you could have it as a whip, you could have it as a straight up mace, which sometimes we've seen in the show where he would like, he would thwack it and then it would become like a, a straight up solid mace weapon as opposed to a whip. So looks really good. And in all honesty, it looks great. It looks great. The only thing that we don't know here, which was, again, some of these slight issues with the original toy, was we don't have an idea of how the paint is going to look on it. So let's hope that they do the chest proper and it gets all the little cheetah dots and it looks really nice. Let's hope that they do the face proper and it puts that little yellow piece on the chin to give the little goatee there. But otherwise, the original toy hit every single paint deco perfectly. The, the cheetah mode itself was perfect from day one in terms of paint applications unless you you, know, you might argue about the the color of the transmetal chrome on the show model as opposed to the toy model but otherwise it was very well done so let's just hope that this one does the same thing looking from the past releases skateboard gorilla knocked it out of the park i heavily recommend skateboard gorilla to any beast wars fan incredible release you just it's it's masterpiece level almost beyond masterpiece level because like it does so much more of that I almost don't expect even from Takara so assuming that they keep this within that scale too so if this is going to be within that same masterpiece scale um, it might be slightly taller than your original deluxe it'll probably fit in more face to face I'm going to assume face to face with your official masterpiece Cheetor season one Cheetah and I think this is going to be an, a, a, a hit I think this is going to be a hit the fact that they went out of the way to give all that extra little articulation in the right areas to do those iconic poses and everything like that that are seen in the show. The fact that now we have a show accurate face, the fact that we have, you know, an articulated tail to also kind of match kind of those scenes that were in the show. That's what we want, more or less. We want we want to have those proper representations of the 3D models from Beast Wars. That's the one thing we are so lucky as Beast Wars fans is that our characters were 3D models. And so to make a proper representation of what was on the screen for us to have in front of us looks a lot more credible than, let's say, watching a flat 2D model of, let's say, G1 Hound and expecting a 3D model of that as a toy in front of us. So I'm very excited about this. Cheetor was one of my favorite characters in Beast Wars, especially, you know, back in the day. And the Transmetal 2 toy, I mean, no joke. No joke, guys. Like, if there was, like, people know my collection size. If there's one Transmetal toy, a Transformer toy out of everything in this collection that has seen the most, like, transforming play and everything, it would probably have to be that Transmetal Cheetor. Um, so this is, this is great stuff. Super excited about this. This is definitely, like, a day one uh, pre-order for me when it hits. Their stuff is not very expensive either. Uh, we don't obviously have a release date or a pre-order price right now, but if any indication of some of their past stuff, uh, it'll be pretty affordable in comparison to, let's say, other comparable Masterpiece official product. And it's not me trying to put over third party, but you know, it is what it is. I'll call, I'll call a spade a spade when I see it, and it's just, this is, uh, this is pretty good stuff. This is pretty good stuff. I like it a lot. Let me know what you think about this. Are you excited about this? This has a place 
at least currently, in the timeline that we're in right now of how product is being put out, this has a place alongside Kingdom and alongside a Beast Wars 25th anniversary. Um, this makes sense. Let me know what you think. Are you excited about spots here?